now the continuation of the last class is motion of charged particle in a uniform electric field motion of charged particle in a uniform electric field last class we studied that the charged particle is uh, if it is initially at rest in a electric field what happens to the motion of electric field in motion motion of charged particle and the second case we discussed that if the charged particle enters into the field with some velocity in the direction of electric field and opposite to the electric field these are the cases we discussed in the last class now our case is if the charged particle enters perpendicular to the electric field the charge is entering into the field perpendicularly that too the electric field is here we are considering as a uniform electric field here while solving this problem while discussing this uh, uh, motion we are not taking that gravitational force into the account okay only we are considering the electric field gravitational pr field we are neglecting now let me consider the case here for example this is a positively charged plate <coughs> and it is a negatively charged plate between these two the uniform electric field is in this uh, direction from positive plate to negative plate now into this electric field one charged particle enters with a velocity u perpendicular to the field the charged particle enters into the field perpendicular to the field then what happens because of this initial velocity it travels in a perser perpendicular direction to the electric field this perpendicular direction i am considering this as the x direction perpendicular to the electric field i am considering as x direction and uh, this vertical direction electric field direction i am taking as a um, y direction now see here the charged particle enters perpendicularly with velocity u and in this direction along the x direction there is no electric field hence it not experiences any force due to the electric field okay why in the in the direction of x there is no electric field so in the direction of x the electric field is not there so that's why acceleration is zero hence uh, there is no change in the velocity the particle moves with a constant velocity in a x direction but in a perpendicular direction means y direction along the y direction electric field is there this electric field quantity we are considering as the e this electric field now applies the force on this charged particle this charge is positive hence the force also be in the direction of electric field hence the charged particle try to move in a downward direction also it gets the acceleration in a downward direction so because of the acceleration in a downward direction initially its velocity increases in a downward direction so the particle gets two motions one is already it is having the velocity motion in a x direction that is perpendicular to the electric field and because of the electric field it is getting the one more motion that is parallel to the electric field so because of these two the particle charged particle moves uh, in a curvy path like this now how can we calculate this motion this motion i am going to study in a two ways one is first uh, along the positive along the x direction
along the x direction means that is perpendicular to the electric field perpendicular to the electric field and the next one is along y direction y direction means that is parallel to electric field along the x direction initially the particle is having the velocity u right after some time the particle reach to the point bc here it started the journey at a it reached to the point b now between a and b along the x direction the displacement is in constant as a x to travel from a to b it has taken the time t seconds the time to travel from a to b is also t seconds in the direction x there is no acceleration acceleration in x direction is zero okay now at that point b what is the velocity velocity in the x direction is equal to nothing but here acceleration is equal to zero so that is why at point b also it possess the velocity like as a at point a there is no change in the velocity along the x direction so x in a is equal to u after t seconds or so and what is the displacement here in the t seconds the displacement in t seconds is we can find out with the formula here acceleration is zero so that's why displacement is equal to velocity into time taken with this formula we can write displacement in x direction from a to b that is equal to x so x is equal to velocity in x direction that is a velocity in x direction is u into time taken t say this is the equation number one now if you come to the term y direction in a y direction initially the particle is not having any velocity in y direction it is not moving the downward it is not moving upward it is not moving towards the positive to it's not moving towards the negative so in the direction of electric field means in the direction of y there is no initial velocity so initial velocity u y is equal to zero and in the direction of electric field the particle is experiencing the uniform force so that's why it gets some acceleration that acceleration in y direction is equal to already we discussed in the last class that is a e q by m and what is the velocity at a time t the velocity in a y direction after some time we can find out with the help of v is equal to u plus a t formula that is u is zero in y direction so acceleration is what's our e q by m into time taken this is the velocity in a y direction right the velocity in y direction is e q by m into t then what about the displacement the displacement in y direction is equal to we can find out with the help of s is equal to u t plus half a t square formula s is here we are considering as y what is the displacement here in y direction say this is a a dash now this displacement this displacement is y from a to a dash the displacement is y from here to here now displacement in the y direction is y initial velocity in y direction is zero so that's why this term term will become equal to zero the remaining is half uh, a is what's are here e q by m into time square is there this is the displacement in a y direction now here if you substitute this first equation from this first equation we can write like as a time taken is equal to x by u 
if you substitute the time value in a second equation then what you'll get uh, y is equal to half into e q by m into t square t square means what's are here x by u whole square that is equal to x square by u square now this we can write like as a half is a constant e is constant q m u these are all constant except x so that's why we can write uh, in the place of e q by m u square into 2 that in the place of these two i am writing a okay y is equal to a into x square here a is uh, e q by 2 m u square right y is equal to a e a x square it is a uh, one of the equations of parabola so that is why that charged particle moves in a parabolic path in a electric field if it enters into the field perpendicularly now this equation y is equal to a x square is called as what's our path equation and in this case if they ask that uh, at a certain time what is the total velocity what is the final velocity at the time t to find out the velocity at a time t v bar any velocity vector v bar is equal to here v x i cap plus v y j cap we can write here v x is the velocity at time t in x direction and v y is velocity in at time t in y direction velocity in x direction is u so we can write like as a u i cap plus v y is e q by m into t if you write that is e q by m into t j cap this is the velocity vector after time t seconds and <clears throat> if you want the magnitude of velocity then you know that according to the vector notation x component square and y component square under root this gives the what's the direction of a sorry magnitude of velocity in a electric field magnitude of velocity of charged particle in electric field and the direction if you want the direction tan alpha is equal to we can write like as a y component divided by x component now this alpha indicates that at a time t seconds the angle angle between a velocity vector and the x axis for example here at this time at this point b this is the velocity direction now it is the x axis angle between these two is alpha this is the direction of a velocity similarly if you want to find out that uh, displacement displacement that is s bar is equal to displacement in a x direction x i cap plus y j cap displacement in a x direction is u into t u t i cap plus y displacement in y direction is half e q by m into t square it is a j cap yeah i taken the downward direction of y as the positive so that's why i wrote i have taken here positive here if you take if you take the y direction in the upward direction then you will get the minus sign that is depends on your sign convention and if you want that the magnitude of displacement magnitude of displacement is equal to x component square that is a x square plus y square under root this is the displacement direction then same way angle we numana just if you need the angle direction of displacement in a simple that is a y component of displacement divided by x component of displacement gives the what's a direction of a displacement what is this beta beta is the 
angle between a displacement direction and the x direction resultant displacement direction and the x direction this is the motion of the charged particle in a uniform electric field if the charged particle enters into the perpendicular to the electric field then this is the procedure we have to follow thank you